Hey guys, it's 12 Inch PV Penis here, and this is going to be a video on spinning the wheel. Generally, I suggest people to 10 spin or 100 spin the wheel, but people don't know how to 10 spin or people don't know how to 100 spin. So I figured I'd just make a quick video on it and explain the stats and why I suggest these things to you guys. First of all, if you guys are new here, I'd like to welcome you guys to the channel. I'm a free to play T5 player. I'm currently 53.8 million power, and I am 296 days into my account. My original goal as a content creator was at T5 within 10 months, and I did it on day. 273. These are credentials I use when I give you guys advice. It's stuff that either I did or I wish I had done sooner. So I get asked this question a lot about, you know, how, how spins should work and how much each person should spin. And generally, if you're a free to play player, you're going to be looking to 10 spin commanders that you want and 10 spin universal wheels, all of them. 10 spinning the universal wheel is basically hands down the best value you can get. So that's always something you should be looking at. And I would try to 10 spin every wheel for commanders you want. So if you're a free to play player, you want to at least 10 spin three Richard wheels and three YSG wheels. On top of that, 10 spinning all the universal wheels. This is a tall order. So if it's not something you can do, don't be afraid to just save your gems for the next More Than Gems event and not use your gems like this. More Than Gems events are better than wheels and you're looking to pump a lot of value into that VIP as early as you possibly can by using the More Than Gems events and you don't want to skip that up for anything really. So just a little math for it. For 10 spinning a universal wheel, it is about 567 gems per universal sculpture that you get. On top of this, you get all the goodies that come with the wheel itself. So it's obviously very efficient. And for the specific wheel, it's about 577 gems per head for specific sculptures like Richard or YSG, plus all the goodies you get with that. So overall, the uni wheel is better in terms of getting universal sculptures. However, the specific wheel has better rewards. So what the other things you might get on the wheel will generally make it more lucrative spending the extra 10 gems per spin because you're not always going to land on a head. Personally, the uni wheel is still the best. However, the specific wheel should not be skipped if you can uh, avoid it. So a lot of people ask me about spinning further. They're like, what if I want a 25 spin or 45 spin or, or 70 spin or 60 spin? I, I, I don't know. Like essentially you want to spin to either 10 or 100. There really is no in between on it. And I know there have been some stats that have come out and it's like the stats show that spinning to 45 is the most valuable or spinning to 25 is the most valuable, but those stats are flawed and I'm going to tell you why. The current stats don't assume that you're going to be spinning every wheel to 10, okay? So when you spin from 210, you're getting 577 gems per gold sculpt, which is absolutely nuts, right? However, this skews the data because when you go to 40 spins or 45 spins or 20 spins or, or 70 spins, the data is skewed because the 10 spins was so good. And because it has diminishing returns, the further it goes, the data starts to get worse and worse and worse, the further you go from 10 spins. However, going from 10 to 100 spins is more valuable than going from 10 to 45 spins. So if you're going to spin every wheel at least 10 times, you either want to spend it 10 times or 100 times to give you some data on this. Obviously spinning to 10 for a specific wheel is going to be 577 gems per sculpture. However, spinning from 10 to 25 is going to be 900 gems per sculpture. If you're going to spin from 10 to 45, it's going to be 813 gems per sculpture. However, if you're going to spin from 10 to 100, it is 790 gems per sculpture. Therefore, if you spin every single wheel 10 times, if you want to spin more than 10 times, spinning to 100 is your best option. Number one, I'd like to thank Asgard for giving me these stats and putting me on game in terms of this. And I'd also like to thank the Harsh Guide for giving the original stats. Um, they are a little skewed because obviously it doesn't come with the assumption that you're spinning every wheel to 10. So this the advice it might give to spinning to 45 or 25 is probably not as reasonable as assuming you're going to spin every wheel to 10 before you spin more. However, I'd still like to thank them for their stats. So closing statements here, I'm just going to say like, I know I ignored the universal wheel. I don't think it's very important. I'm going to go ahead and say that the data for that was also kind of skewed, but it didn't end up mattering. Spinning to 40 is more efficient than spinning to 80, even though the 10 spot is skewed. Um, Spinning to 80 is just not very good on universal wheels. So spinning to 40 is probably okay. I just would not suggest it for a low spender or free to play player. I think the specific wheel is significantly better. On top of that, you have to remember that the universal wheel is not giving you good speed ups and is not giving you really good anything other than universal sculptures. So if the only thing you need are universal sculptures, which is generally higher tier players in terms of spending, then maybe you can spin the wheel. But for us free to play players, 
10 spin it and then you're done realistically. I accidentally missed something about spinning the wheels. So a lot of people ask me how to 10 spin a wheel. I suppose people just assume you five spin it twice. The most efficient way to do it is to take your free spin. So every day you also get a half off spin. So you take your free spin, your three half off spins, you do one full spin for a spin once, and then you spin once five times. That makes a total of 10, and that is the cheapest way to get to 10 spins. That is what you should be doing whenever I say 10 spin or whenever anybody says 10 spin. I hope you guys enjoy the content. If you enjoyed it, feel free to drop a subscription. If you guys ever wanna ask questions and get notifications for when I go live or when I drop a new video, the way you could do that is go to the description below. There's a little link that says Discord and that is the best place to reach me. If you guys are watching this video right now, it means that I'm currently live on Twitch and that is also in the description below. So drop by, ask some questions and just say hi. Have a great one guys, bye.